karma is a universal law it is also known as the law of cause and effect or the law of action and reaction according to the law of karma what you give is what you get nobody can escape from this law bad things can never happen to good people whatever is happening in your life is our own actions returning to us let's describe it the law of karma is a law of action and reaction according to this law every action of ours is recorded and rewarded either through the good or evil that our action has caused the law of karma is a universal law and holds good for everybody nobody can escape this law and nothing can manipulate it even if the action is performed behind closed doors and unknown to the world the law of karma captures it such is the law karma literally means action but because of its global popularity it has reached beyond that today if one says karma it means a lot more it indicates the existence of a cosmic law what is the relevance of this law imagine something terrible happen most unexpectedly and unwordently this seems to be no logical reason as to why the incident happened and we exclaim karma here we are acknowledging the fact that the law of karma is exciting itself in the circumstance that just afforded there was no reason for this terrible thing to happen then why did it happen it is obviously a reaction to an action performed previously the action may have been performed in the distant past and beyond the recall power of our memory the law of karma ensures that all actions are appropriately rewarded suppose you have a garden in which you find apples growing on a tree how did the apples appear could it be thought some magic it is a random act of nature of course not somebody must have planted apple seed for the tree to blossom in the garden it could be you someone else or even your neighbor who threw the seeds across the compound wall it might have been caused by the wind or the birds but some actions has led to this reaction you cannot reap apples unless you sow them and if you sow tomatoes you cannot reap mangoes the law is very simple and while it cannot be proved we know the law exists through inference 
Can you prove that the law of gravity exists? You can't. You can prove that your Gmail account is yours by revealing the password and other related credentials. But the law of gravity is different. If you throw your mobile phone up in the air, it doesn't disappear into the clouds above. Thus, you infer that there is some force that pulls it back to the ground. You concluded that the law of gravity exists. Karma is also a law that can be verified through inference. There is no doubt that the law of exists. The law of karma is completely law. It works in several ways. You may instantly get the reward for your actions or you may have to wait several days, weeks, months or even years for the repercussions. In fact, it is believed that you cannot escape this law even after your death. Many things keep happening around us. What is the cause of all that happens? It seems that a law of causes and effect is unfolding. What is the law of cause and effect all about? For every effect, there must be a cause. Therefore, something that has happened in the past is causing whatever is happening now. What is happening is the effect of a cause. For every action, there will be an equal reaction. If there is smoke, there must be fire up or something that has caused it. The law of cause and effect can also be seen your in your day-to-day -day life. You see a port, a plate and a statue. You know that all these three are made out of mud. Mud is the cause. The poet, the plate and the statue are just effect of the cause. Whatever is happening around us are just effects. What is the cause? our own karma, our own actions, or deeds of the past that were captured by the law of karma are unfolding as effect. Therefore, karma is often rewarded to not only as the law of action and reaction, but also as the law of cause and effect. Have you ever seen a boom ring when you throw it into the sky? It comes back to you. Karma works like a boomerang. What you put out into the world eventually comes back to you. Sometimes the law of karma tricks us because although we do we do many bad things, only good comes to us. We don't realize that the good that is returning to us is the law of karma itself. These are our own previous good actions that are coming back as a boomerang. Whatever the bad actions that we are currently performing, beware. Although it looks like a magic show and a lot of good is happening in your life, every bad action that you are currently performing is also being recorded by the law of karma and will eventually come back to you. The world today believes that what goes around comes around. People know it. and. It is not something they need to be taught. Intuitively, 
people feel the truth of this statement. They explain it. What goes around comes around. If someone treats other people badly, he or she will eventually be treated badly. People know that if they treat someone in love, somebody, somebody else will treat them too. They can't escape their own actions. The universe works with several cosmic laws. One such law is the law of sequence and continuity. If you see someone going somewhere, eventually he or she will come back. If you see someone coming, that person must have gone somewhere something ago. People don't come from nowhere and disappear into nowhere. Things don't come from now nowhere and disappear into nowhere what goes around comes around. What you give is what you get. The karmic is law is very simple. Even a child can understand it, but we human beings often forget this law because we ignore the extent of the law of karma we don't realize that the law exists. Just because the table, the chair, the cupboard, the bed, you and your laptop are all secure on the ground. It does not mean that the law of gravity has stopped working. The cosmic law of gravity exists. It has always existed and it will continue to exist forever. And so is the cause with the cosmic law of karma. The law of karma is universal. Whether you are American, Chinese, Indian or Japanese, the law of karma appeals, applies to you irrespective of your nationality. It does not matter whether you are a Hindu, a Muslim, a Christian, a Jain, a Sikh, Jew or a Buddhist because the same law extends equality to everyone who is born on earth. One cannot escape karma, no matter which religion they flow. The irony is that we can rather escape karma, action, or the law of karma. Can we escape from action? Every human being is to act, whoever they are and wherever they are. They need to get out of their bed every morning and do something. You cannot escape from action. This is also a universal law. But while this is law, it is not to the law that is referred to when we talk of karma. Karma has been understood across civilizations, nations and religions as the law of action and reaction or the law of cause and effect. Peter used to live in a village with his uncle to explore new opportunities. He left for the city and spent two decades building his career. One day he returned to visit his uncle and they took a walk around the farm. Do you remember Peter? Just a few days before you left. I had asked you to plant a row of apple seed all around the edges of the farm. His uncle asked, Look at this wonderful tree now. In 20 years they have grown so beautiful. His uncle took him around the entire farm and showed him how well the trees had grown along the 
border of the thumb until they reach the northern end. Suddenly the entire thumb looked like a haphazard jungle. When Peter saw the mess, he closed his eyes in some and wait. I had done my job well till here, and then I remember my friends called me to play with them. Whatever remaining seeds I had, I created a pit and put everything there. He added. His uncle laughed and said, You can't escape nature. Your good action will stand forever in the farm. But your acts of compromise cannot escape. Karma is very clear. As you sow, so shall you reap. If you are reaping something, there is absolutely no doubt that it is happening because you had sown something. When, where and is, in in what circumstance, may be unknown to you. But if you are receiving a reward or a punishment, then the law of karma infers that it is your own action that are coming back to you because we don't understand the law of karma we question good god oh god why do bad things happen to good people the fact is bad things can never happen to good people the universal law of karma will not permit it sometimes we can't figure out why something bad is happening to good person. But we need to understand that it is their own bad doing that is coming back to them. Sometimes we question God as to why a person who is incensed a quarrel is rewarded with so much success. We don't realize that the law of karma is only unfolding as per its past records. Since we human beings do not understand that the law of karma, we let ourselves perform bad deeds. We cheat, we lie, we hurt, we kill, and the we hope that is written. Good things will happen to us. How on earth can Godness returned to us with the prevalence of the karmic law. Today, tomorrow, or sometime in the future, we will have to pay for our deeds as per the law of karma. Every bad action of ours is recorded and will be repeated in full, just as every good deed will be rewarded. The law of karma is not cruel, it is reformative, not punitive. It helps us evolve, evolve in our ethically journey as human beings be rewarding us for every good we do and punishing us for our sins. Its objective is to reform us before eventually leave the earthly plan. It is not like a foolish man who is always trying to find people who are committing crimes. On the other hand, the law records both good and bad equally and it responds to every action with an equal, equal reaction. When we don't understand the law of karma, we live, live and die without ethics or values, or eventually, we suffer even if we have lived ethically, we cry in pain when bad things happen to us because we don't realize that the law of karma is only returning to us. As 
for our own past actions rather than crying it's best to understand to the law of karma and live our life a positive attitude accepting the accepting the consequence of our own past actions karma is nothing but the law of action whatever is our action so will be the reaction if we plant a tomato we shouldn't accept a mango what we reap is what we sow